Welcome to my makeshift workshop. I was going to show you guys another casting molding video. I did this out of sculpture wax and this is half of a, I believe this is called a Kashira or a Fuchi. Um, this is the part of the sword that goes around the collar of the grip. And this is one like what is seen on the John Wick swords. I'm doing my own style that I want to put in my rental. And the reason why I did half is because I'm just going to do one side and then flip it around and do the other and then put the waxes together. So I started out actually ca uh, carving it in wax or sculpting it really. Uh, this is sticky wax and I put a textured background. I'm probably going to edit the background, but um, the reason why I need to make a mold of it is because I don't want to do that twice, but I do want that dragon repeated on both sides, so I did one side. Now I'm going to put a, uh, a clay wall around this. I'm going to flood it with um, some mold material, and we'll pull out a part. Hopefully everything will come out nice, because I spent about an hour on that. All right, there is the clay wall around my part. I'm going to pour some mold material uh, in there and uh, make sure I get all the air bubbles out and then we'll see what this does there's my equal parts part a and part b i'm going to mix this up really quickly make sure i pour from a high level and pop those bubbles on the way in and pour it over my mold So I have to pour another layer of silicone on top of that. <sighs> All right, still a little bit on the surface, but I can I can work with that. Um, it's all hardened up. Let's see what it looks like. All right, part was pulled out. The hole was cut. I've got some molten wax for my first initial pour. We'll see if the first one comes out. If the first one doesn't come out, I'll do another follow-up one right behind it so that the, the mold is nice and warm. Maybe increase the temperature of the wax. It's not an exact science, but um, when this cools down, I'll pull this out and show you guys. And there we go. We got a wax part, or at least one half of the sword guard ready to cast. And see, it's gonna go around this section here. So imagine an oval, it's half an oval, and that is the part that goes on the base of the guard, or I'm sorry, the base of the grip right there. I got my other half cooling right here. So once that's put together, or once that cools down, I'll pull that out and pull the, put those together and make the oval shape that goes on the, the base of the grip. It's not perfect, but I'm still putting it together. I'm going to blend it a little bit, but that is one mold, one copy that's been duplicated. And then I'll clean this up into where it will actually be the, the sword part that I need. Pretty cool, huh? Double dragons. All right.